All right, everybody, so in today's video, uh, what we're gonna be doing is I'm going to go through and uh, print some gaskets out, out of uh, TPU filament, and we're gonna be basically testing the uh, chemical resistance of them. So what I've got is I've got some motor oil here. Um, I think it's Pennzoil. I don't know if that makes a difference. Uh, I've got some gasoline, some coolant, some water, and then I've got a control that's just gonna be in the air. Um, they're all gonna be sealed up in some mason jars. We're gonna go ahead and test them. For this video, it's gonna be 10 days. Um, I'm probably gonna make a follow-up that's gonna be for the full month. All right, so why would you even bother to 3D print a gasket when you could just buy one? Um, so let's say that you know, you're know you in a situation where you're not able to find that gasket. They don't make that gasket anymore, or you know, you're know, you not able to get to the store in time and you need it now. Uh, I mean, 3D printing would take a little bit longer, but it's doable. You'd be able to print it out and um, get it done, especially for things that aren't manufactured anymore. Being able to design one and upload it onto the Thingiverse or Thangs or wherever you, you know, upload your prints to and share it with the community. That's what's great about 3D printing. You can create whatever. People are experiencing the same things, you know, you'd be able to help them out. So, you know, if you can remanufacture something, we're going to go ahead and test and see if TPU would be worth it for gaskets. All right, everybody, here they are. Um, I've got the oil right there, coolant right there, water right there, gas right there, and nothing right there. Because um, these were all printed at the same time using the same filament. Um, and let's go ahead and put them in there. All right, here we're putting it in the oil. Going down in there, perfect. I tried to put 100 mLs of uh, each of these in there. Um, obviously, not really the easiest to do. But um, there we go. So that one's gonna be sitting in the oil. Next up we got the coolant. Just gonna plop that right in there. And... There we go. I put water in this specifically because, you know, if you live in a place where there's a lot of humidity, this should simulate, um, just, you know, see how much water it actually absorbs. Because TPU can absorb water from what I've understood. Um, but, you know, this is obviously excessive unless you live in Florida where it's 90% humidity 90% of the year. So, I mean, this is just Florida level. All right, and now the gasoline. Be interesting to see if this just completely dissolves. Um, there it is down there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this now. Hopefully this doesn't just explode. I see bubbles coming off of it, but, you know, it's probably fine. All right, everybody, so here's just a quick update. Um, this is about 24 hours later. Um, I just shook them up because I wanted to, you know, make sure it was working. You can see with the water here, can't really tell anything. Obviously the control, nothing's happened to it. The gas also looks pretty much the same as the water. You can't really see, I don't see anything dissolving in there. I don't see any warping. Um, the oil is all bubbly, but same same goes for that. Um, it doesn't seem like it's getting soaked into it. It doesn't seem like it's saturating it. Um, yeah, I mean, as you can see right there, I mean, they all pretty look, pretty much look same as how I put them in there. So I think it's gonna need some more time. Uh, that's the reference one. It's kind of distorted when you look at it through the mason jar, but I think it's just gonna need some time to soak in there. Uh, a day completely submerged in water is probably like, I don't, I don't know, like a month in Florida. You can hear it's raining right now, so, yeah. But it'll be interesting to see how well these uh, TPU uh, gaskets hold up. All right, everybody, so here we are um, another day later. Uh, here we have the oil, so this is approximately 48 hours. Um, you cannot really tell uh, anything has happened. <clears throat> the coolant uh, pretty much looks the same. Uh, none of them are like floating or anything. I'm not really noticing anything different. Um, here is the water. I don't see any of them becoming like bending or like flexing and like losing any rigidity from what I can tell. Like even the one in gas still looks just as straight as it was when I put it in there. Um, I mean, you can even tell based off of this one, even this one kind of looks the same through the glass as all the other ones. All right, so it's been about 10 days since uh, I've started putting these in here. 
Um, just shook the oil up so you're not going to really be able to see much in there, but um, yeah, it looks pretty much the same. Uh, same goes for the coolant um, and the water. Even the gas doesn't look like it's done anything to them. Um, and then there's just the control. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to pull these out and uh, kind of like feel them. See if they're stretchier or if they're more brittle. Because um, I'm not sure. Everything looks pretty much the same. Alright, so I, oh Jesus. I took the one from the oil out. I've got that right here. Um, I just dried it off. Uh, it's still pretty flexible pretty much just as flexible as it was. It doesn't really seem to have changed in shape at all either. So this for instance, or for reference is the control that I didn't put in anything. Um, and it's, I mean, maybe, no, they're, pretty much the same. Yeah, so from what I can tell, the only thing that's changed here but in the uh, coolant one is, the coolant one is looks a little bit more yellow, which it seems to just absorb some of the color. Um, other than that, it looks like it's still, you know, just as structurally sound as the other one, um, just as elastic. So on to the water. All right, so these ones, you probably can't even tell a difference between them. Uh, this is the one that has been in the control this is the watered one. Um, I mean, they feel exactly the same. Um, like nothing, like nothing happened. Now onto the one I'm probably the most excited for, the gas. Here, let me set this down so you can hear it because it's probably gonna make a noise when I open it. Guess not. All right, and this is the only one so far that I feel like is actually losing um, rigidity, which I mean, it makes sense. It's a lot more flexible, and I don't know if you can see, but yeah, it's like, it feels like it's starting to come apart. Like, you can hear it. And if I zoom in, you'll probably be able to see it. So like right there, it's separating from the uh, from this circular line in the middle is separating from the, uh, right there. It's still flexible. I mean, I definitely wouldn't use it for something in gas just because, I mean, it does, yeah, you can see here. It, yeah. Yeah, the gas is definitely taking its toll on this one because this one over here, I wonder if there's a difference in the, uh, how they look. Oh yeah, very slightly. But you can tell that this one is Oh wow, look at that. See how that one's separating? Whereas if I go over to here. Okay, well maybe not then. It feels like this one is definitely falling apart a lot easier though. Like that middle line's breaking, whereas this one, it's just the, yeah. Definitely feels like this one's starting to deteriorate and fall apart. It feels a lot more flimsy. Um, whereas this one, you know, still feels rigid. Like I can't, compress that as easily, whereas this one is just immediate. Um, you can kind of see that there is a little bit of difference in color. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up. This one looks a little bit more yellow, which I mean that's probably just from the gas as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but you can definitely tell that this has absorbed some. Maybe don't make a TPU gasket for um, something that will be coming into contact with gas. But as from what I can tell so far, the oil perfectly fine, coolant, perfectly fine, water, perfectly fine, and then air, obviously, that's just the control. So, um, put these back in here, and I think I'll make an update video once a month has come up, but um, this is just after 10 days, my 10 day little experiment, check back and should be like 20 days for my month update. Um, if you wanna see more content, subscribe, um, like the video if you liked it, um, if you disliked it, doesn't matter they remove dislikes <laughs> but yeah if you want to see more um you know 3d printing content more experiments like this or just more work on cars like like this um make sure to subscribe um check back with me um 
turn the notifications on because I post so infrequently. That way, at least you'll know. I've been trying to get back into posting more, but it's just ugh, school and work, so. All right, uh, see you in the next one.